Sagging ceilings are the most common sign of water damage. They can also be an indication of a previous leak that is still leaking. A sagging ceiling is a common sign of water damage in the ceiling and can be easily remedied with a simple repair. In some cases, you may be able to fix it yourself, but sometimes, you need to hire a professional to help you. However, if you have severe water damage, you should consult a contractor immediately. Sagging ceilings can also be caused by water entering through other areas of the home, such as the roof or clogged gutters. In some cases, you may even need to replace the entire ceiling to fix the problem. If this is not possible, you should call a local water and mold cleanup company who can determine the source of the leak and repair the affected area. If you can't do the repair yourself, a professional may be able to provide you with a professional who can fix your problem quickly and professionally. Another cause of sagging ceilings is too much moisture. Too much moisture in a room can encourage the growth of mold, which can be disastrous if left untreated. To combat this problem, you can invest in a dehumidifier. In addition to repairing the visible damage, you should also check the ceiling for signs of structural damage. If it's too moist, there could be cracks or other damages to the home structure. Don't ignore the problem because you'll be dealing with it in the future. If you suspect that your ceiling is affected by water, you should take action as soon as possible. In most cases, a sagging ceiling is the result of a water leak. You should look for signs of a leak in the ceiling, such as stains or paint marks. The sagging ceiling will likely be accompanied by a damp stain or hole in the drywall. You should also consider installing a dehumidifier in areas where there is a lot of moisture. In the event that your ceiling has sustained water damage, you must immediately seek a professional to help you repair it. In some cases, you can do the repair yourself, but in other cases, you'll need to contact a professional. The cost of this type of restoration depends on the severity of the damage. If you have more extensive water damage, you might need to hire a licensed contractor to repair it. If you need a professional, you should contact a plumber or a home improvement store. If you have water damage, you should contact a professional to inspect the ceiling. You should hire a professional to fix sagging ceilings. They are skilled at treating any type of water damage. So, you should never worry about this type of disaster if you're not sure how to treat the problem. The professionals will help you fix sagging ceilings and other parts of your home. So, get a sagging and leaking ceiling repaired. The main cause of a sagging ceiling is water. The water will weaken the materials used for ceilings. This will result in a sagging ceiling and possibly a leak. The water could be leaking in any area of the house and cause a great deal of damage to your property. In addition to causing a sagging ceiling, a water damaged ceiling can also create mold. The presence of mold in your home can lead to respiratory problems and nosebleeds. This is why it is crucial to seek a professional for this type of repair. If you suspect that your sagging ceiling is caused by water, make sure you hire a professional to fix the problem. A sagging ceiling can be dangerous, especially if it has already leaked. If it has a significant amount of water, it could be on its way to collapse. You should hire a contractor to replace the drywall and the support beams to prevent it from becoming a major issue. If the damage is mild, you can easily patch the sagging ceiling with a simple fix. If the sagging ceiling is severe, you will need to remove the old plaster and re-plaster the ceiling. In some cases, you will need to replace the entire drywall. Depending on the extent of the damage, you can replace only a portion of the damaged part. If the damage is severe, you will need to replace the entire wallboard.